Hi, I'm Michael Hollinger with Wysis, and in this video I want to demonstrate how to do cycle and physical counting as part of the warehouse management solution. What you're looking at here is the simulation of our warehouse management solution on the mobile handheld device and we have a couple of icons here cycle physical count by bin, cycle physical count by item, and cycle physical count by tag. In the end they all count the tags in McCola the same way, it's just three different ways of collecting the data. To start a cycle count, let's go into McCola and go to cycle count select and in the batch ID I'm going to type in Q2, we'll do all items, location MA and click OK. And I don't need anything printed on paper because we're going to do this all in the handheld so I'm going to choose disk. And when that's done printing choose escape or click cancel and minimize Macola. Now back on the handheld device I'm going to use cycle physical count by bin. It's called cycle physical because all three of these will handle cycle counting or a physical count batch. The more you use a warehouse management system the less physical counting you should do and you should be able to do more cycle counts throughout the year. So for the batch ID we'll put in the same batch that we just created Q2. And for the bin, I'm going to scan bin 100 and item stem. And it tells me it found one tag which has not been counted, so the count quantity is zero. Tag number is 1546. And I'll type in my count quantity on the handheld and hit enter. Okay, so if I scan the stem again, it's going to tell me that it found a tag one, and here's the count 4600. Now, when we find a tag, we go ahead and create an extra tag. That's the way McCullough is set up. So if I wanted to count some more, if I maybe found maybe I found one more somewhere, I could choose count quantity of one. So now I'm going to clear this screen and choose a, the next bin. So my next bin is bin 200, and my item is horn. And now it wants a lot, so I'm going to scan my first lot that I see. 98934 and there again found tag one, uh, one tag, count zero, tag number 1573 and a count quantity I'll put in of 95. So again I'm going to choose horn because I found another lot here. 12123 it's in the same bin and there's my tag and a count quantity of 45. Okay so I'll clear and I would just go to the next bin, 400, and I would just keep counting the rest of my inventory. Okay, now that my inventory is all counted, I've gone through all my tags and I've counted them all. I'm going to close my cycle physical count. And now I'm going to go over to Agility Explorer. Under cycle count, and we have a couple options here. Cycle count, pre, post, audit by quantity variance is what we're going to look at. Under preferences for the batch, type in Q2 and our quantity variance of 5. Quantity variance of 5 tells Agility Explorer to show us anything that has a quantity variance of 5 or greater. So we can see Horn and Stem here both have a variance. Uh, Horn has a quantity variance of minus 5 and Stem has a quantity variance of minus 19 and there's the corresponding dollar variance. So under Horn we have all these lots that have been counted and here's our variance of minus 5 under lot 98934 and if we look at stem we can see all the tags that we counted here for stem notice this one here this one is not counted this is the stem that's been sitting at bin dock we have a couple options here we could go back out to the dock and count if we think maybe we just missed it if we know that there is nothing on the dock we can simply click the mark counted button and once we click it you'll see it refreshes the screen and sets the count quantity at zero. Now that we've done our counting we know everything has been up to date counted we've checked our variances at this point we would go over to McCola and we just go to post count tags and follow the procedure of posting our count tags back into McCola. Thanks for watching.